good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. How are you doing today? Are you ready for another English class? Let's begin. Today, the topic is two word verbs or phrasal verbs. So what is a phrasal verb? It's an action that is described by two words or more. In this case, we're going to talk about the two word phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are made up of a main verb plus a particle. What is a particle? A particle is a preposition and an adverb. An example of a preposition. In the phrasal verb get in, in is the preposition. So in is a preposition. There are other prepositions. Out, on. Now, we, we also use, a particle could also be an adverb. Example, in the phrasal verb come clean, clean is an adverb. Okay, so get and come is the main verb. In and clean, preposition and adverb, that's the particle. The two words, the two words describe one action. One action. Now, when we see, sometimes we see, we see a verb and a preposition and it has a literal meaning, a literal meaning, literal, okay? Look at this example. She ran out of the building. That means she literally ran out of the building. But the same two words, you need to interpret them in context. They can, ran out now has an idiomatic context. We ran out of sugar. We ran out of sugar. Did the sugar run out? No. It means we consumed all the sugar. So now it has an idiomatic context. So which of these is a phrasal verb? The ones where the, the meaning of both the main verb, of the main verb changes, that is the phrasal verb. Okay? So it's the combination of these two words that give it a new meaning. Here it's literal. Okay? She literally ran out the building. Here, of course, the sugar did not run out of the building. Or I mean, out of anywhere. Right? We ran out means that there is no more. Okay? We consumed all of it. We consumed all of it. Okay? Or we used all of it. Used. All of it. It's an idiomatic interpretation there. Yeah. Okay, students. So, so this this is what a phrasal verb is. In our last class, we were talking about phrasal verbs. Let's continue now. A phrasal verb in the in different time tenses because phrasal verbs are made up of two or more words, which word changes so that the time tense changes? Okay, remember the examples I gave you last time? Get in, get in and come clean. To come clean. To come clean means, it's like to confess. Okay, when you confess, you come clean. Okay, now get in has two parts. Get, it's called the main verb. Okay, and then we have the particle. We have the main verb plus a particle. We have a phrasal verb is composed by 
a main verb plus usually uh, an adverb or a preposition. Okay, so an, a, a, a main verb plus an adverb or a preposition. Now, when an adverb and a preposition are part of a phrasal verb, uh, they they are considered a particle. Okay, particle. So it's a main verb plus a particle. The main verb is the one that changes when the time tense changes. For example, in the past tense, get turns into got. Okay, I get. Okay, to get in in the past, got in. In the future, we would change it to will get in. Will get in, etc. Now, the particle does not change. Okay? Come clean. Come clean. In the past, it would be came clean. He came clean. He came clean. He will come clean in the future. So the main verb changes. The particle stays the same. Did you get that? 